Hello friends, Christian here with Brick Life Crisis, and today we're taking a look at the Hidden Side set number 70419. This is the Wrecked Shrimp Boat. As you can see from the front of this box, this is a very different design from what we're used to. The colors are very pastel. It's more of an artistic kind of painting situation rather than uh, photography of the actual set. The product information, ages 7 and up, set number, number of pieces, which is 310 by the way, is all over on the right side rather than the left. And as you can see, they have a, an illustration of a cell phone there uh, because there is an app that goes along with this uh, for some augmented reality. If we turn the box around, we get a little bit better idea of what the set actually looks like, including the app and kind of what it does. So this is kind of a new one for me. I'm kind of interested to check and see what this is all about. Let's go ahead and crack it open and take a look. Inside the box we have three bags of parts, a manual, a canoe, and a sticker sheet. Let's go ahead and put it all together. And here it is, Lego Hidden Side set number 70419, the Wrecked Shrimp Boat, consisting of four minifigures, 310 pieces, everything you see here. Uh, as you can see, the boat is not currently shipwrecked, uh, but we'll show you how all that works in just a moment. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at all of these components. All right, first of all, we have this albino crocodile or alligator, I'm not sure which. This is the same mold we've received before, but this time in the light tan color. And he has red eyes, which is kind of cool. Of course, his jaw has some articulation, and there is a little bit of a hole there for a bar-sized piece to fit. He has six studs on his back, and then his tail is movable, and that's uh, snapped in there with a Technic pin, and you've just got a little bit of articulation at the tail along with the jaw. Cool, nice to get him in a different color. And next up we have the canoe. Nothing special about this. It's uh, just a yellow canoe piece that we've seen before. Almost looks like a banana. <laughs> um, this time they've included an oar with the clip piece on the back, but uh, yeah. This is the shrimp boat. This build was actually pretty interesting. There are a few fragile parts on here. This railing down here at the bottom, these are held on by single studs. We've got some nice detail here with the uh, tire bumpers and um, the railing and stuff, but uh, these single stud connections make it a little bit fragile when you're handling it. So just something to be aware of. It's, it's not too bad, but just something to be aware of. These life preserver pieces, there's one on either side. Those are stickers as is that uh, number there on that curved tile. There are several stickers on this set, actually. Uh, the Maria name badge is a sticker. This wood look with the metal bracket there is a sticker. The shrimp on the roof is a sticker. Uh, this anchor decal up there is a sticker. And we have another one of the life preservers and the numbers, another wood look and Maria sticker and then the console there towards the back is also a sticker and there's a little bit better look at that uh, gauge console uh, again that is a sticker and as you can see I didn't quite get it on there straight and on the other side is that anchor uh, insignia and that is also a sticker in addition, there are stickers on the windows to make them look as though they are cracked. Um, they're not bad, I just wish they were full-size stickers because you can clearly see where the sticker ends. And uh, yeah, It doesn't look too bad on the model, but when you look up close, it's pretty obvious. And here's a look at a sticker on the other window. And another sticker on a front window. This, I initially thought, was maybe a new uh, set of parts, this uh, glass and frame piece. Uh, but now that I'm looking at it, I think it was probably released on some of the train sets earlier. Um, but it's not something that I've owned previously, as far as I can recall. Kind of cool. They've done some nice work on the detailing here with the diesel engine, um, this uh, array up here on the top for some instrumentation. That white piece there is new to me. I'm not sure if it's actually a new element, but I have not seen it before. Uh, but it works really well as the uh, communications tower. 
We also have one of the relatively new uh, lantern pieces hanging on the side there. Uh, that was released with the Harry Potter sets recently. Inside we have the cockpit, which has a printed console as well as that sticker that I mentioned before. Uh, steering wheel, and enough room for the captain to stand. Around the back we have the diesel engine, and I'm not sure exactly what that's supposed to be. Um, it has a function, and we'll show you that in a moment, but maybe that's supposed to be part of the, the net reel that pulls in the net with all the the fish that they catch and over on this side we have a box with uh, some brick built shrimps and a couple of silver fish which is kind of cool. Uh, this boat is pretty neat I think. They've done a nice job down here with the sloping. Uh, there's a couple of pieces that are actual hull pieces and then they have some bricks to make up the rest. Um, they've done a nice job I think. Overall I really like this build. Of course this set is called the Wrecked Shrimp Boat so you need something for the boat to wreck on. And this is a bit of a swampy rock outcropping. As you can see, we have some greenery, some roots, things like that. Um, nice big rocks and things. Um, it's a fairly basic build, but um, as you can see, we have some pegs on either side. The idea is that when the boat wrecks, you can actually tear this thing apart and here you can see the boat has hit the rock and has cracked in half and uh, sadly I think the crew was doomed. This rock outcropping also has a hidden feature. If we creep this open we have some sort of demon rock or something there which is kind of silly but I guess that's kind of the theme is that uh, these seemingly innocuous inanimate objects become creatures of some sort. Alright, and here we have this ship boat's first mate. I like his face print, he looks sufficiently scared. He's got some uh, stubble on his face. Looks like he hasn't shaved in a couple days. He's got a knit cap. Uh, the torso print is pretty good. I like that uh, kind of fisherman sweater that's underneath his overalls. However, the coloring on the orange-yellow color doesn't quite match between the torso and the legs, which is unfortunate. Uh, there is some very subtle print on the waist piece, uh, some wrinkles there on the pants, which is kind of cool. It's got some black gloves, as you can see, and the torso print on the back continues. No alternate face, obviously, but uh, overall I think this is a pretty good looking figure. And here we have the ship's captain. Uh, he's very well done. He's got the uh, kind of slicker outfit on with the fisherman sweater underneath. Face print is pretty cool with the... Um, Kind of salty sideburns and uh, pretty well done. Again, on the waist piece, there's just a little bit of subtle print. Um, got some print on the back of the coat. No alternate face on this head, but uh, as you can see, he has a cool fisherman's hat. This, I believe, is a new element. I haven't seen this before. Um, overall, a pretty good figure, um, but uh, that's not all there is to him. Of course, being the hidden side, there is something kind of sinister and creepy about it. He has some tentacles, that also is a new element as far as I know. He has this cutlass piece which is in a yellow green type color. He has an alternate head with that uh, kind of creepy face on it. Very well done. That head incidentally, when you take off the hat, you can see is um, kind of a translucent green so you can sort of see through it. Um, and there's a bit of print on the back as well. Uh, also, I forgot to mention that his legs have this uh, kind of safety stripe along the bottom, and the uh, first mate has the same print. But uh, pretty cool. This is one of our ghost hunters. This is Parker David. She has a cell phone that's a new print. As you can see, there's a ghost zooming around that she's captured a photo or a video of. She has some nice jeans that are a little bit torn there at the bottom. She has a fanny pack going across her shoulder, which is kind of a, an interesting way to wear one of those. She has a new hat hair combination that's a dual molded piece with the uh, kind of lavender hair and that uh, light yellow uh, knit cap. With that removed, you can get a little bit better look at her face, which is nicely done. And she does have an alternate face where she's looking a little bit angry. And you can see the straps of that fanny pack going across her shoulders as well. Pretty cool figure. Uh, it's always fun when they have new pieces uh, introduced in a new theme. 
I really like the hat hair combination. Well done. And this is Parker's brother Jack. He also has a cell phone. That's a new print. Um, he's got a nice torso print with that sweatshirt with some red slash lines on there it looks like. And a little bit of subtle printing on the jeans as well. He's wearing some black gloves. I really like that uh, hat hoodie combination. That is a new mold as well. And uh, the striping on the hat matches that of the sweatshirt which is cool. You can see his primary face there and a secondary frightened face along with some more printing on the back of that sweatshirt. Very very cool. Again, always cool to get some new elements and sets. Very nice. And this is Spencer the ghost dog. Had a cute little face there. Some printed eyes and nose. It's a, I think a dual molded piece in the trans clear and white. Um, really small, almost looks like a little terrier or something, but um, it's a ghost dog. Cute. And there's a quick look at uh, some of our seafood. We can see a couple of silver fishes there, and then those brick built shrimps. Those are pretty cool. They're just this one by one studs with the holes inside with those horn pieces uh, stacked up, and it just kind of looks like a little shrimp. Kind of a clever build. So, part of what makes the hidden side unique is the app. And the app, you scan the model, and they're on all of these hidden side sets you have a color coding and if you turn this wheel then it changes the color depending on what you're doing in the app uh, it'll ask you to tap one of these colors and uh, it changes what you see on the screen the augmented reality and this is the hidden side app so this is actually looking at the, my boat and then adding some augmented reality around it. So you can see the island back behind there. That's my boat. So right now it wants me to change the color wheel. So I'll do that. We'll make it red. It's actually kind of pink, but it wants me to tap right there. There we go. Now I have to find the gloom. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but It's kind of a gameplay element. There we go. All gloom spots found. Right, capturing the ghosts. Looks like I got some sort of battery. And I'm going to change it to blue. Find the gloom. It's kind of a clever idea. I'm not sure how popular that play feature is going to be, but it's kind of cool and I like the fact that they're trying something new. You know, a lot of kids these days are playing games on their phones all the time and not so much playing with physical toys and stuff. So this is kind of a, an interesting way to combine both. Alright, so this set retails for $30 here in the US. I, however, really lucked out. I was in my local Walmart the other day and this was on the shelf, there were three of them actually, and they were mismarked and they were priced at $9.97. So I picked one up, I took it up to the register, and of course it rang up at $30, and I said, well, actually. So they did a price check and saw that it was marked incorrectly, and so they gave it to me for $10, so I was very happy about that. But it does retail for $30, and I feel a little bit bad for Walmart's mistake, but then again, it was Walmart's mistake which was my game. So, uh, happily, I got this for far less than retail, which is great. Um, I really like these figures. The build of the boat was pretty cool, although it is a little bit fragile. So for smaller hands or whatever, those railings in particular are a little bit tricky. Um, I'm not sure about this thing, <laughs> um, but whatever. The app is fun to play with for a little bit. If I was a kid, I might be really into it, but as an adult collector, it's fun to play with for about five minutes or so, and then I'm over it. But the, uh, the build is pretty cool. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be getting any more hidden side sets or not. I really picked up this one because it was at 10 bucks. But uh, it's a cool theme and I like the, uh, the idea of integrating physical toys as well as the uh, 
the apps and that sort of thing. So anyway, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you going to be getting any of these sets? What do you think of them? Do you like the figures? Do you like the theme? Uh, it reminds me a little bit of Stranger Things with the hidden side being like the upside down um, and the kids being the ones that are out to save the world. But anyway, this has been Christian with Brick Life Crisis. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave us a like. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye for now.